Gute. So this year we are all struggling to stay sane and safe and also try to compensate for the loss of physical activity due to physical distancing. So what I have here today is like a home trainer, it's like a bike device, see? And my problem with it is it is way, way too easy for my taste. So you can crank it up to like full power and what it does is the pedals are attached to here and we turn this crank and this crank will turn the wheel at the back and it's like cast iron or something like that. And I was actually working out for like 20 minutes and it is definitely warm. So telling me that those magnets are used to slow down these copper by what kind of inducing magic, right? So what happens is um, when I turn the resistance down, you see the magnets physically move further away from the copper strip and the wheel moves much easier. And if I turn it up, you see it slows down because there's more magic happening. So what, what can we do in order to increase the resistance, right? I think I have like three ways to do this. You see, the distance here can be changed. So I can change the top of the magnets to be closer to the copper wheel without actually touching it. That would be not good. Um, secondly, we can turn this screw, which um, is pulled by turning the resistance up and down. So I can adjust this to change, sorry for shaking vision, shaky vision. I can adjust this to be like closer here. And last but not least, you see that there's actually one magnet missing. And I don't know if it got lost or if it just didn't, uh, wasn't installed. But I will try to find another magnet and maybe put it in there. So we got more, more magnets. So these three steps should actually help me to increase the resistance and have a more realistic way of pedaling. Right? Ah, this is obviously a sensor for the computer. So the computer doesn't care if this is spinning. Ah, oh, yeah, here. There at the back is the magnet. And once it passes over there, it knows that the wheels are turning. Yeah, there's no magnet here and no magnet on the other one. So it just samples the rotation. And I think it doesn't even know about the resistance. So yeah, it's, it's a really basic computer, but it does get the job done. And I also just use it for counting the minutes. Sorry, still shaky vision. So I've been tinkering around a bit. I have my glue here and some magnets here, but obviously they are not matching those brick-like magnets down here. So I gave up on the plan of adding another magnet on the bottom. And I turned to moving the magnets closer to the wheel which was kind of successful as you see by the marks in the paint here I was able to move it like a millimeter or a half a millimeter closer to the wheel which now makes it harder to turn obviously but we have a tiny problem and which is if I turn the wheel now to the maximum setting and turn the wheel slowly. Then, okay, I tried to prove it to you, but now it's not working, funny. Um, the problem I had was this. You see, the spring is not able to reliably pull this back enough to prevent it from now locking physically to the copper. 
so I have to find a way here. Maybe I find a beefier spring or I add some wire to prevent it from extending over this amount right here, right? Yeah, see, it is if I turn the wheel a little, I try to turn it to 11 kind of thing. If I just overturn it a bit, then it will lock on to the copper wire and we don't want this because this will physically scrape on the copper, it will damage the copper, it will damage the magnets, it will... Yeah, we are going to have a bad time if this happens, so I have to prevent that at all costs. And now it's really heavy to turn in this state. And this is what I came up with. It's just some wire and it's perfectly broken. Perfect, so crap. Let's try this again, shall we? So as you see, I tried to add some other springs here, but then I had to drill like at an angle and that didn't work obviously. So I just thought I'd take like two of those and hope that uh, they will hold for like a while. Um, as you see, if I go further closer to it, it now doesn't stick anymore, so we should be fine there. And as you also see, I have already installed the pedals again. So now it's time to check out if that actually is any good, if actually anything changed. So, and we go pedaling on the easiest settings and this is as easy as it can get, so I could I think I could pedal it, it like the whole day. And we're going closer. Now we are at setting five. And I think this is like the hardest it was before. Over time it gets a bit, little bit challenging, but that's okay. And now we have like three more additional steps like six, it, you already feel more, like seven, now it's really, if I stop pedaling, um, the rotation you see on the bottom stops immediately, and eight is now really bad. Like pedaling uphill with a heavy bike. So that's good, that's actually exactly what I wanted could be a little harder, so you have to actually stand up, but that is good for now. So all I have to do is like add the top here and the bottom from here to make it safe again. And then I call this like a success, right? We can fight the muzzle disintegration from physical distancing as I wanted more effectively. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and hope you have a great holiday season and yeah, bye now. <laughs>